Hello all. Welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform the 1D static structural analysis of a cantilever beam having uniformly distributed load and a point load. So this is the given drawing. Here we are going to plot the shear force and bending moment diagram and also we are going to calculate the maximum normal stress. Just open ANSYS workbench. Here you can see various analysis systems. I am going to choose static structural analysis so click drag it and drop it here so first i am going to define the material property as it is given in the problem so it can right click on that and you can choose edit so in our problem the x modulus of the entire system is given as 210 into 10 power 9 pascal and the poisson ratio is 0.3 so I'm going to define a new material, it is material 1. So you can see a question mark. So you have to define the material behavior. So I'm going to choose isotropic elastic and I'm going to drop it here. So the X modulus of the material is given as 210 into 10 power 9 and the Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. Now again go to project. Next I'm going to create the geometry, right click on that and choose design modeler for creating the geometry. So we have three planes. I'm going to choose the XY plane and I'm going to select look at. So here the units are in meter. I'm going to change it to mm. Okay. Then go to sketching and select line. From the center point, draw a horizontal line. Then go to dimensions to mark the dimension click the line and you can edit the dimension here so the length of first line is 250 mm so here you can see that i'm going to create a line between a and d then another line between a and c then c and b so i'm going to create three lines so you can th create three lines in different sketches or otherwise you can create all the three lines in the same sketch because we have only one cross section and only one material throughout the Beam. So, we can draw everything in a single sketch. Next, I am going to draw another line. Then go to dimensions and mark the dimension. So, the length of this line H2 is given as 1 meter, that is 1000 mm. Next, go to draw, create line and create another line then go to dimensions and mark the length of the line so h3 the length of the third line is given as sorry it is 250 mm okay so now i have created three lines so you can click generate then go to concept and select lines from sketches so initially we have created the sketch now i am going to convert the sketch into a line so select control and select all the three lines and click apply. So we have created a line. Next I am going to define the cross section. So the cross section of the beam is a circular section and its radius is given as 20 mm. So go to concept, cross section and select circular. And the radius is given as 20 mm. Okay. Now click generate. Now we have defined the cross section. Then go to part and choose the line body and define the cross section. So the entire section is common. So it is circular one. Okay. So if you want to visualize uh, the cross section, then you can go to view and you can choose cross section solids and you can visualize the circular cross section here. Okay, click generate now close this window next I am going to create the mesh so right click on the model click edit so first I am going to define the material so click geometry and select line body and change the material to material 1 now right click on the mesh and click generate mesh 
now you can see that the entire system is divided into small small elements now click static structural and the beam is fixed at the left end so i'm going to choose fixed and i'm going to select the vertex option i'm going to pick it and click apply so now i have fixed the left edge then i'm going to apply the loads in the beam you can select loads and you can see line pressure so i'm going to choose line pressure and select control and choose the lines where you want to apply the uniformly distributed load so click apply and we have two options one is vector and another one is components so i'm going to choose components and i'm going to apply the force in the negative y direction so the magnitude is given as minus 2 kilo newton okay so i have applied the load in this region next i'm going to apply a point load so i'm choosing force and i'm selecting vertex option i'm selecting this vertex click apply and choose components and apply 3 kilo newton that is minus 3 into 10 power 3 in the negative y direction so now i have applied the all loads so you can click solution and you can solve it now the solution is completed so to view the results right click on the solution select insert now i'm going to choose beam tool in beam tool we can calculate direct stress minimum and maximum combined stresses further if you want to add anything you can add it i'm going to insert the shear force and bending moment diagram okay so to create the shear force and bending moment diagram initially we need to define a path so i'm selecting model right click on that insert and choose construction geometry and path so in the path i'm going to choose edge so path type is based on edge and uh, you can click the edge selection tool then click control and select all the three edges and click ok so now you can see a path here from 1 to 2 then go to shear force and many movement diagram and choose the path and I'm going to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in the y direction because I have initially applied the loads in the y direction. So choose y. Now right click on the solution and click evaluate all results. Now click on the shear force and bending moment diagram so that you can visualize the shear force and bending moment diagram. And also if you want to see the maximum or minimum stresses then you can see that. So the maximum stress acting on the beam is 9.4 e power 8 pascal okay so if you want to animate it you can animate like this so to save this go to images save to image to file and i'm going to choose maximum stress as the file name so click ok thank you